Welcome to Worship Wednesday. I think that I have connection on both Instagram and Facebook this week, which hasn't happened in the last two weeks, so that makes me happy. Hello, Marissa says hello. I, um, I'm kind of a mess right now. I've been at the recording studio all day and got home and shoveled some food in my face and then plugged in. So, hey. And I, I put my hair up in a clip and my clip broke. So then I threw it in a pencil. You know, you do things to make do. So what's going on with you guys today? Anybody doing anything fun? Marissa wants to say hi. Let me bring her on. Come on, Marissa. Come on down. So recording today and then going to record on Friday as well. So that's exciting to me because there's nothing I would rather do than music. So it's very fun to be recording today. And again, Friday, very excited, but I'm a mess. Hey, Marissa. For anybody on my Facebook Live, I got Marissa here on my Instagram. I'm good, it's been been a busy fun day of music how are you yeah i'm doing good we're um i'm actually um this saturday i'm coming because it's fourth of july i'm worshiping uh, for my youth group so i'm bringing my guitar down and i'm finally bought me a music stand so i can let me like not lean forward because it hurts my back oh uh, so most of it, yeah that's so exciting and i'm like really excited yes so, Oh my gosh. I love that. Seriously, that is awesome. Good for you. Congratulations. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, I, 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 she was looking for someone to worship and I since played guitar for like a year. Well, I mean, yeah, like a year. And so she decided because I played a variety show okay. at Christmas and she just saw me saying, huh. She might want to worship one day that for is awesome. vacation. Day, so. so on my Facebook Live, if you can't hear this very well, I don't know. Um, Marissa over here on my Instagram Live, she was asked to play worship for the this 4th of July weekend. So she was just sharing that with us. And I think that is so awesome. Congratulations, girl. That's exciting. Thank you. Yeah, and actually, I've been working out at home. It's really fun. I'm sore. Oh, nice. I'm glad you're working yes. out. Yay, yeah. good. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So well. if any of the rest of you guys <laughs> like working out as much as I do, drop that down there. I would love to know how many of you are like crazy workout fans like I am. Um, and by the way, thank you. You said you look pretty and you have a sweet and pretty voice. Thank you <laughs> yeah. for saying that, Marissa, especially because I've been just in the recording studio, like yeah. no makeup and the hair, like I said, through in a pencil. And Elle says you're beautiful. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Hi, Eric. Nice to see you. Bridget um, says, hello, it's Bridget. How are you doing this evening? I have a question for you. Do you know how Jesus love us? Um, Jesus love us. I don't think so. I'm not very good with off the top requests like someone I know who I used to be in the band with you can just basically tell tell them any song and they will be able to do it and I'm not that good but tell me who sings that <laughs> and maybe I'll look it up and do it in the future I don't know I can't promise anything so uh, when does your Paradise Texas come in your song the oh, Paradise Texas oh, oh. You just hit a nerve. Marissa just asked on uh, um, Instagram, when does Paradise, Texas uh, drop? When is that going to be released? Sorry, my okay. Just so Paradise, Texas was supposed to be released last Friday. And there have been things that have just... This got in the way. This got in the way. This got in the way. I can honestly say that from... Before that song was even written, stuff was messed up. I went to Nashville and I wrote that song and I was supposed to, I had plans to go to Nashville this one week in, it was in October last year. And um, then suddenly it just didn't work. So I, I actually had to go back in October, like a week later 
to write that song. <laughs> so it already, that song has caused so many problems and just things and things and things. But I promise you it will be released in July and okay. I don't have a date yet, but I'm going to say two weeks, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Definitely not this Friday, not in two days, but uh, maybe in the Friday after that. I don't know, but definitely July. Do you think that, you know, will you be able to do that? Say it again. Sorry. Okay, so Bye, L. I have to say goodbye to people. L, nice to see you on here. Uh, God bless you, too. Hi, Madison. Hi, Glenn. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Marissa. Okay. So, like, um, you know, like, that song, um, Ready to Fly, you uh -huh. know, like, download it for free. Yeah. Will you be able to do that for Paradise, Texas, too? Or will you? That's a secret. You've asked me that before. I haven't gotten around to sharing that information yet. So, um, I, I will disclose that in the future. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Because I did a, um, I did download a free song, um, on, um, the right. Uh, awesome. On Yon's website. Yeah. So. If you go to my website, PamelaMaryMusic.com, you can get Ready to Fly for free. There is a free version of Ready to Fly. That is the current single that is out. And my next single is Paradise, Texas, which was supposed to drop this past Friday. So, so I'm going to get to my next song. Marissa, if that's cool with you, I'm going to click you off here and okay. hang out and enjoy. Thank you for popping on and great questions. Don't forget to keep writing to me and give me all the hearts and love. <laughs> Bye, sweet pea. I'm, go I'm very proud of you and happy for your getting to lead worship and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. Holy Water is my current favorite contemporary Christian song. And this was written last summer by the band We the Kingdom. And I got to see them live, and I fell in love with this song when I saw them do it live. You have to watch them do it on YouTube, uh, do their live version, because in my opinion, it's way cooler than listening to it on Spotify or iTunes. So if you know Holy Water, I would love it if you would sing with me. But if you don't, I'll just sing it for you. God, I'm on my knees again. God, I'm begging, please again. I need you. Oh, I need you. Walking down these desert roads, water for my thirsty soul. I need you. Oh, I need you. Your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips. Like the sound. part of that by We the Kingdom and my current favorite contemporary Christian song. I love it. So I just got kicked off of Instagram live, of course. As soon as I stopped talking with Marissa, I got knocked off. So let me, let me get that started again. I don't know what the deal is. It always gets like this. And I have plenty of internet connection. I don't know. Um, yep, I have internet. I don't know. So let's try this again. Okay. Checking connection. You're not alive. <laughs> hey, Instagram. Sorry I lost you guys. Instagram hates my phone or something because it always kicks me off. 
even though it says I have connection. So, we're back. This next song here is another contemporary Christian song from 2001. So it's a little older than last summer, but it's written by Keith Getty and Stuart Townend. This is In Christ Alone. Join me if you know this. In Christ Alone. Christ Alone, 2001. So for the July is this weekend and things are pretty different this year, are they not? <laughs> I live in Houston, Texas, so drop in the comments where you live and tell me what your plans are this 4th of July if you are doing anything spectacular because I actually many, many years I've gone to the Houston 4th of July fireworks show downtown, and it's just amazing. And um, so my old band, we were asked to play it a couple years ago, and it just happened to pour down rain in Houston that day, and I got trapped on my way there. And we had to be there earlier in the morning, and, and I got trapped where, like, there was water on this side and water on this side and I'm here and I'm like freaking out because I don't drive a truck and so I pull my car over into a parking lot and I'm like guys I don't know if I can get there I don't know what to do um and then the whole 4th of July show was just canceled for the first time ever and they still did the actual fireworks which was cool because I had a duo gig that evening at another at a private event so I did end up getting to play that night and we did get to see the fireworks in Houston that just all the 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 concerts and all the vending vendors and stuff everything was shut down except for the fireworks show that itself so that was a couple years ago and then this year from what I understand it's gonna be like live concerts like y'all are here with me and I love that Gigi hi you're online that's good to see you um, so that's just super different. So it's the second time it's canceled in Houston or like not like with people. Um, and then several years ago, my old band, we played the Abilene fireworks show, which is amazing and seriously the best fireworks show I've ever seen. And, uh, I was asked to play that, uh, solo acoustic this year and I just, didn't want to make that drive by myself all the way from Houston to Abilene. It's pretty far. Um, and then I just also wasn't, it, that was before COVID happened. So I hadn't actually said yes or no, but I was leaning towards, I was going to do it. And then when COVID happened, I was like, mm, I don't think that's a good idea for me to say yes. And then it'd be canceled. So I just said no. And they are actually going on with their show in Abilene. So what about you? Are you, Gonna see a fireworks show? <laughs> Is it, are you gonna do anything spectacular, anything fun? Cause this year I will probably just go to sleep or something, watch them in my neighborhood. But I would love to know what you're doing. Cause maybe you're doing something fun. <laughs> I don't know. This song here 
is another contemporary Christian song called How Great Is Our God. It is by Ed Cash and Chris Tomlin. Now, Ed Cash is the writer of Holy Water that I played for you earlier, and I'm obsessed with that song. Well, How Great Is Our God is the fifth most popular worship song today. So if you know worship songs, you've probably sung this in church. And I would love it if you would sing along with me. A splendor of that to go into God of wonders beyond our mad galaxy you are but there's so many different parts to that song like the guy and girl part overlap and I used to sing with a worship team when I was in college and so I did that song a lot I actually played it on keys and sang that uh, <laughs> but that's always what I think of after how great is our God and I just don't know that it makes a very good solo for me. I don't know that maybe someday I'll do it, but that's just, well, that pops into my head. So speaking of playing on keys, Chainbreaker is a song that I released back in February about the breaking chains. So if you've ever had an addiction, if you've ever been addicted to like a substance, to alcohol, or um, a person, or like that, I, I had an alcohol problem at one point in my life, and I also was addicted to a person. Um, so when I released this song, that's what it actually meant to me, was breaking the chains of um, just, essentially idolizing a person over God wanting it was about a relationship and wanting it to work so badly that that was all I ever thought about and uh, so that person didn't want me any longer so I had to learn to let that go and so here's Chainbreaker for you guys <laughs> There's a better life There's a better life 
Chainbreaker. Released that in February. And then my current single, Ready to Fly. I released that song in April. And that song, if you've ever felt like someone, some people, even yourself, might have been holding you back from living your dreams, then I'm going to encourage you to just do it. I have some people in my life that weren't necessarily the most supportive of me doing music. It was just time to do what I needed to do, which is my passion. This is this is my love. <laughs> and so that's one of the meanings in Ready to Fly. I hope that you have streamed that already on iTunes and Spotify and Amazon and Deezer and iHeartRadio, whatever you listen to. Or like Marissa mentioned earlier, you can download a free copy of the acoustic track by going to my website www.pamelamarymusic.com
Ready to Fly. That is the current single, even though Paradise, Texas was supposed to be released this past Friday. So, I got some more friends hopping on. Hi, ah, oh, Robbie says such a great tune. Thanks. Um, I did play that. Uh, I don't think you were there, Robbie. I played that in one of Brett Manning's um, like small group sessions. Uh, but he, let's see, that was gosh, last year in May. I I wrote that song from having worked on uh, Flat on the Floor, Carrie Underwood, with Brett. And so I wrote that song shortly thereafter. In the vein, it's to be similar-ish, not to be flat on the floor, but that's what inspired me, uh, sound-wise. And, um, and then it was in October that I got to play that. Um, if you've ever been burdened by a physical illness or a mental illness, if you've ever experienced like depression or um, like loss of some some kind, then you know how hard it is um, just to face life and when I was diagnosed with MS, multiple sclerosis, in 2016, my whole world just came crashing down. And uh, then um, I struggled with depression big time, and I still do. Um, and people around me couldn't really deal with it. And so I uh, wrote this song for you. If you've ever struggled with a mental or physical illness, then keep fighting. I know, I know people say it gets easier, but it might not. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't get easier. Sometimes you just keep fighting. So this song is for you. It's called Take Down a Giant. Thank you. 
down a giant is for you if you've ever battled any sort of physical or mental illness or suffered a loss and you just feel like you're battling giants based on um david and goliath is where i got that idea from besides me having ms but like if you uh know the story of david and goliath he has david is just this teenager who goes to battle this giant and he's not afraid and it's uh he just takes three small stones and slings one in a slingshot and knocks him in the forehead and giant's out dead and uh so I don't expect MS, depression, and all that to just be gone with a slingshot and a small stone, but it was uh, uh, the Lord who was with him that that made that happen, and He's the only the only thing that keeps me going these days. Um, so take down the giant. It's for you if you've been there. And then, when I was diagnosed with MS, at that time I had someone in my life who uh, meant the world to me, and I would not have been able to get through the initial getting diagnosed with MS if I didn't have that person in my life. And so when you can be having a really bad day and they just make everything right in the world, you can conquer the world if you have that one person in your life. That's this song is You Make Me.
make me is the only love song I have. Well, I mean, that's not true, but it's the only love song I have been playing for you guys. Um, L, ah, oh, thank you for the happy love face. <laughs> I love that. Um, so if you feel so desire, if you feel the desire, you can, uh, and you want to drop a tip, even a dollar into the virtual tip jar, the, the link went away on my Instagram because I had to restart after the connection went away during the show. Um, but PayPal and Venmo at Pamela Mary. And the cash app is Pamela Mary Kiefer, my full last name, like Kiefer Sutherland. And so if I made you smile and you want to drop something into the cash uh, app, into the virtual tip jar, that would be super appreciated. And I am going to finish out today with, which I would have loved to have said my current single because it was supposed to drop on Friday, but it didn't. And there's some things because just, you know, life has been like, I don't even know. Like, how do you even describe what it's been like lately? I mean, as a musician, all the venues like have been closed. So there's no playing live shows except that Texas opened up recently and then closed the bars anyway. Some places are having live music, but closed the bars back up. So that's weird. And of course, wearing masks has never been a thing in life except for doctors. So that's weird. And um, so you just kind of, at least I am trying to just be flexible. So Paradise, Texas, that was supposed to have released last Friday, which will release sometime in July, I promise that. It will release in July. I don't have a date yet, but this is my next single about just loving where you live. I don't have anywhere that I grew up. I can't say I grew up here or here. I grew up in a lot of places because my dad was in oil and gas, and we moved a lot. So I was born in Florida and moved around a bunch and I love Florida and I love Texas. And so this song is just about loving where you live, loving your hometown. Uh, it doesn't have to be your hometown. Like I just love Texas. I love Texas. And I love the good old boys in Texas, the, the tip your hat, the, the yes ma'ams, the holding your door, the, the car door, the pulling your chair. I just love that gentleman hospitality Oh, Papa Ray just joined. Hi, you get to hang out with us live this time for the very last song because <laughs> that's to the end of the evening for us. But I'm so glad you joined us. So here is Paradise, Texas, y'all. <laughs> But where I come from, everybody knows my name Ain't no Hollywood lies, but there's big stars in the sky Oh, you can make a wish on first kiss on loose drag attack On these old dirt roads, they're like streets of gold You can bet I look like most around here We count our blessings Living in paradise, Texas I like living in a place I can turn the radio on Anytime, any day or night And find a country song Nothing better than Waylon, Willie, Johnny and June me and you dancing in the Lone Star Ain't no Hollywood lights, but there's big stars in the sky. Oh, you can make a wish on first kiss on loose track of time 
on these old dirt roads They're like streets of gold You can bet your life it's a real little life If you've got a good hand to hold May not look like much But I'll tell you we count our blessings Living in paradise Seen a lot of this big old world, but there's no place better than home. Ain't no Hollywood lights, but there's big stars in the sky. Oh, you can make a wish on, first kiss on, lose track of time on these old dirt roads. They're like streets of gold. You can bet your life it's a real good life. Paradise, Texas, y'all, and Lori is from Ceylon, Minnesota. I have never been to Minnesota. That must have cold winters, which in Houston, Texas, we do not have. But thank you for hopping on. Papa Ray says, sorry, must have got here late, but very happy to hear your last song. It's wonderful. Yeah, well, I mean, I start at 7 p.m. Central Time or I have the last few weeks when I changed it, when people started going back to work um, for, you know, during the pandemic. And so seven o'clock I am actually finding is not the best time. I don't know. I feel like, see, now people are popping on. And so like 7.45 is a good time. <laughs> Maybe I'll do 7.45 to, to eight. 30 or something like that. Hey, Scotty, I'm getting closer to watching these when they're live again. This time I blame the two hour nap I didn't intend to take. <laughs> okay, but if you needed a nap, if your body took a two hour nap, I guess you needed it. Like I woke up at five this morning and then fell back asleep at 6.30. Normally if I wake up at five, I'm and at 6.30, I'm still awake. I'm out of bed, I'm just up but I didn't have much to do. I mean, I don't have anything going on in my life really right now except music and school. And so I slept until eight. I fell back asleep for another hour and a half and it was amazing. So yeah, I'm thinking about changing the time again to 7.30, 7.45, but seven o'clock is just not working so well for most people. So if you have an opinion, I would love Love for you to drop that in the comments and let me know. So I said, I didn't get up till 10 a.m. this morning, hello. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe you worked out really hard yesterday? Cause that happens to me a lot of times. I, the day after leg day, I'm like dead. Which leg day, let's see, tomorrow is chest and shoulders. And I think leg day might be after that, which was, gonna be weird because if I have leg day on Friday, I'm also back in the recording studio. I was in the recording studio today and I go back to record some other stuff from Friday and I don't think I'll be alive. Leg day, having MS, ever since I developed MS, like leg day just destroys me. I'm just done. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, that's all I got for you. So feel free if you want to drop anything in the tip jar. Please, if you want to, go to my website, PamelaMaryMusic.com, and download the free song of Ready to Fly. Um, Paradise, Texas, excuse me, was supposed to come out this past Friday, but there are just a million things that are just crazy with the world. So Paradise, Texas did not come out Friday, and it will come out this July, I promise. And um, let's see, what else can I say? Uh... I don't know. Do you have anything else you guys want to say? Anybody want to say anything? 
because otherwise I will see you next Wednesday. And as of now, it is 7 p.m. Central Time. And if I change that, you will know in my stories and I will update the uh, event, the Facebook event, as soon as possible. So, I guess that's it, you guys. I love, like, this is my favorite time of the week, is getting to hang out with you. So the more friends, the better. The more you talk to me, the better. I love all the hearts when they go up. They just make me smile when I'm singing, and I have to try really hard not to lose focus uh, <laughs> while I'm singing, because I just want to be like, oh, thank you. But I can't say that in the middle of singing, right? And I don't want to, like, screw up my words, but I love it. It's my favorite time of the week hanging out with you guys. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the hearts. Um, so I hope I will see all of you guys next week. And Scotty says I'll set an alarm if I take a nap again next Wednesday. <laughs> or you can always catch the replay. It's just definitely more fun if it's live because we can, we can chat, we can hang out. But I love you guys and I thank you. And see you next time then.